Hi there, welcome to Goods in 28. And on this, the uh, August, August the uh, 8th, probably one of the hottest days in the UK this year so far. I'm inside this room uh, recording a video about a walkie talkie. <laughs> But um, the, look, we're look, I'm looking today at the RT1. Now, to me, this name sort of suggests that this is where it all started with Retivis, you know, the RT1. But I don't think it is. I'm not sure if it's anything to do with that at all. I don't think this is their first radio. I don't know why this is called the RT1. But I'm still going to have a look at what you get with this radio. It's a radio that you can program between five, uh, 400 and 520 megahertz and has an output power of 10 watts, so a little bit different for a handheld radio. I'm not sure how many applications there are in the UK where you could legally use it at that power, because I think all kind of simple site type licenses and things like that are, f are they five watts? I'm not sure there are too many that are 10 watts. Uh, there might be, could be wrong on that. So there's the manual, and let's see what else you get in the box. It's a really, really reasonable price radio, this. They always are, the rest of this stuff. And they have an earpiece. I don't like earpieces much. I find that the earpieces they provide are always like pretty poor quality and I always feel they're gonna blow my eardrum out any second. But um, I, I mean, I haven't tried this, I don't know. Maybe it's better. Belt clip, another belt clip, one of these that is uh, attached with um, screws rather than just kind of clipping on easily. So you've got to actually permanently attach it with screws. Nice and solid fit then though, I guess. What charger do we have with this? So I would have thought the battery would need to be quite substantial with this. Uh, so just it's pretty, pretty basic uh, stuff there. Output 12.5 volt DC doesn't give any kind of current that it that this can supply. No idea then what that one does. Little, little thin strap for the radio. Two screws for the belt clip. And here is the charger, probably different again from all the other Retivist stuff. Is it a different charger again? I suppose the radio will be a different shape, won't it? So it'll probably be a different different shape charger. Yeah, I haven't seen one that looks like that before. You gonna focus? There we go. Yep, I haven't seen one that looks anything like that. Input 12 volts, model RT1. And here we go. Look, it comes with two antennas, one of which they bend to fit in the box. I like that. Uh, it comes with, is it an antenna for, is it a frequency based or is it sort of supposed gain based? No, so this is 400 to 520. And this is supposedly, I, you can't even, I can't even fit that in the shot. Can I? There we go. So that's one of the antennas it comes with. And then you have a second antenna that comes with. I like the fact it comes with two which is a more kind of regular stubby antenna, which is, I guess, very similar to the one that's on the uh, RT82 back here. Quite similar, similar antenna to that. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm imagining that these are just, has a slightly better gain figure on it, but I still not, I mean, these aren't gonna perform remarkably well. Uh, and any any kind of antenna on a mobile device isn't isn't incredible, but uh, well, if you can get an extra dB of gain or something like that, then yeah, that's all good, isn't it? And here's the actual radio itself with some silica gel inside it. There's a rather uh, I've never seen one with a gold back before. Model RT1 output power 10 watts, 400 to 520. Now I think there are options around power. Oh, okay, yeah, so on the side here, we have our push to talk button. Nice, nice and simple to push that, I like that. And even these are nice as well. These are, this is plastic, these are rubberized, but they're still very positive, nice definite click when you press them. Antenna that can be changed, of course, with a female SMA, whatever they're called. Channel, channel button on the top there. Power on off, volume control, of course and your standard LED to show whether you're transmitting, receiving, etc. Two screws for the uh, for the belt clip. And on the other side, we have our standard connector. So hopefully this will work with a regular programming cable. And, and that's pretty much it. It is just a basic, basic walkie-talkie, which can be programmed very, very simply, hopefully. And this is the battery. So 
Yeah, it's got a good weight to it, that battery. Let's see what's the... So, yeah, this is a... A lot of their stuff at the moment is kind of 1,000, 1,500 milliamp hour. This is a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. And you would expect that for a radio that's supposed to be outputting 10 watts. So let's get this connected. Let's throw an antenna on it quickly and see if there's any power in the battery. Okay, so it's got a little tone when it uh, starts transmitting. I imagine you can make make a few changes to stuff like that. It does that every time you start transmitting. All right. Five, one. So with a radio like this, I don't know what the basic frequencies that it comes are comes with are. I better. I should uh, pay attention to that really. So I've got a programming cable. I've just picked the the actual one that says Retivis on it. So hopefully this one will work. It is the right type but you never know do you because they seem to have all sorts of different cables i do have a couple of others i can try if necessary but um let's just turn that off plug that in okay now i'll turn this on and then i'm going to go to find where it says read radio on here Ah, cannot open communication port. What a surprise. So it does seem to have one available here on COM8. So I'll select COM8 and try read from radio again. Okay. Yes, good. It seems to be working. Wow, amazing. Reading completed. Excellent, right. So now, here on the screen, we can see exactly where this is programmed. All 16 channels are between 463.22500 and 465. Not sure what they are in the UK, but I will have to uh, change those, I think. Uh, TX power is high. I guess that can be switched. Yeah, it's switched between high and low. There's a button on the side that allows you to, um, to, do, to change the power of the radio too. Uh, but, um, cool. Okay, so there we go. I'm just uh, pushing out 7.9 watts there by the look of things. I hope you can, hope you can see that display all right. I'll try and see if I can move it a little bit closer. Yeah, I think, I think you can see that okay, can't you? 7.58 watts as I hold it down. That kind of worries me a little bit that the power's draining from the battery. Uh, power, high. power high, 8.2, so that's exactly the same. Interesting. I probably should charge the battery, shouldn't I? For I should charge it up a little bit first before I do this. Let me just go away for uh, 20 minutes. I'm going to charge the battery on the RT1 because I haven't charged it since I got it. And I feel it's a little bit unfair to judge the RT1 based purely on um, me just uh, plugging it in uh, straight out of the box. Back in a bit. There we go, so we're now up at 9.2 watts, VSWR of 2.26, which means our transmitted power is 85%. Uh, but again, we are dropping down as we, um, going a bit all over the place, but yeah, fair enough. That is reasonable. So there we go, a quick look at the Retivis RT1 walkie-talkie. No tests on this at the moment, I'm not gonna get this uh, going right now. But um, there are a couple of humorous observations, and that's firstly the uh, power, check. when you change power, you press and hold the left button. I think you can program these to what you uh, to do what you want them to do, but uh, if I just press that now. Power, low, power, high. I always find it a little bit amusing the way the uh, voice announcements are done. And electricity, middle. So that's a battery check, electricity middle. Electricity middle. Okay, good. Electricity middle, thank you for that. Still, it's a nice radio though. It's not as heavy as I thought, not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's really quite comfortable in the hand. And um, 
this antenna is long. This that, that's me pressing the push to talk button. It's quite easy to press. I'll turn it off for a second. So this this one is fairly long. The other one, I guess, is a little bit more unwieldy. I got the uh, UHF version. You can select which one you get, and I assume then you get two different antennas for the other one too. But this one, yes, is a bit unwieldy to have on, you know, if you've got this on your belt. But uh, but it's uh, it all comes down to performance, doesn't it? If it performs a little bit better, then sure, why not? Sometimes you might just want to use it. You might need to use it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.